someday I'm gonna have to learn how this damn camera works. It just popped up saying that I had a scheduled slow motion activity for 7.27 p.m. What did I think was gonna happen at 7.27 p.m. and why did I need to film it in slow motion? I don't know the hell I'm doing. So today we're gonna talk about my final and ultimate solution to the blow-by situation on the CVO Rogue Glide. So welcome to what is going to be one of the strangest videos I've ever done. Why? Because I did this whole thing last night in the garage, the whole shebang that I'm about to explain. And I watched it today. I mean, I uploaded it and scheduled it for this afternoon. I'm like, that video of crap. It was dark in here. Can't see nothing. And today we have a beautiful sunny day. So I'm going to redo some of it. So I apologize for the in and out and the whatnot. Because some of it I can't redo. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But... I have an ultimate solution for the blow-by situation on the CBO. So, um, to back up, as most of you know, the Milwaukee 8, well, all motorcycle motors um, have a certain amount of blow-by. So, up at the heads, there are those two vents that go out and then go back into your intake and back into the motor, and the motor burns that oil mist and hot air and whatnot. And, causes excessive engine heat and, and, and robs you of a little power and, and whatnot. Now, they do that for EPA reasons, but many people like myself um, find every possible way to break the law <laughs> when possible. So there's a lot of different activities, a lot of different ways you can get around that sort of situation. One is what I've done before and failed miserably at before ultimately figuring out and then deciding I'm not really crazy about the way of doing it, and that is an external breather out of those head bolts. So what you do in that situation is you take the back plate behind your intake and you drill and tap a hole and you put a fitting in. You then hook a section of hose up to a aforementioned fitting and then you either, uh, and you do on both heads, you know, a fitting per side. Um, and then you either run two pieces of hose, one from each fitting down to each other and connect those two hoses with that, an inline filter, and that lets it breathe. The problem with that is yes, you get some oil misting out of that breather. Or you take those two lines together into a T down to a single line to a catch can. And the catch can you empty every, I don't think it's gonna be very often, but you empty one of those every once in a while. Uh, I did do that sort of arrangement to my 2014 Air, uh, Heritage with the twin cam motor in it. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to change it to a catch can. Right now there's an inline filter and I'm switching that out. Um, what I have today, and I'm now going to cut to the install of, is the folks at Fueling I reached out to a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, a while ago. And said... Um, this vented dipstick you make. So you can either vent from the heads or you can vent down lower, you know, through the transmission oil tank area. Whatever you gotta do to get some of that pressure out of the motor. Um, and so you have a vented dipstick that's really popular. I'd really like to do one. Is there any chance you'd, you'd provide me with one? And they said, sure, sounds awesome. They checked the channel out and said, that'd be great. It's gonna be a while though, because they're sold out. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll just, just, I'll just wait. And um, I, I was like, that's a, Fueling's a hell of a company. They do cams and oil chest kit, oil chest kits, cam chest kits, oil pumps, all that sort of stuff, cams, uh, great stuff. And I was like, well, maybe, you know, we'll see if it shows up or not. And I'll be damned if it didn't show up yesterday. So um, now I will cut into the bizarre last night shot of me going through all the stuff and installing this Fueling vented breather dipstick arrangement. But it's slick. So, on to that. Um, thank you tremendously to Fueling. Um, they did send me the, the, the Vinted Dipstick for the Milwaukee 8 Bagger. You can see here, something that means a whole hell of a lot to me. I hope it does to all of you. Uh, made in the US. And what you got here, if I can one hand operate this, is, of course, a sticker. Because, I, you know, grown men and stickers, I'm all over it. I'm serious. That's going to go on the toolbox. Um, some promo marketing literature, your instructions, full color. 
even though this this is quite a simple device it's it's brilliantly made but if you look at really what it is that the product includes all the filtering and stuff it's just how you're gonna you know put it in your bike so then you take this off here and nice stuff right i mean this is this is a better filter than i have in that kit um includes the loctite you need the fittings you need and this is the dipstick so let's uh take this apart real quick and we'll take a peek at uh, what all is inside here all right so let's see now so the actual dipstick itself, as you can see, has this cap that when you take off, there is a bladder, a filter, multiple chambers to catch buildup, et cetera, et cetera, built actually into the dipstick itself. So it's not like it's just a dipstick with a hole in the top. There's a whole lot going on in here. So that goes right back on there. And then you have two options. I did not know this until I went through the, uh oh, there we go. Until I went through the whole installation, um, documentation that you have two ways of doing this you can either just stick this porous fitting right there right i'm not going to do that because what that does is it just vents out the top of the dipstick and of course you're going to get mist and whatnot all over your bike and etc etc not the end of the world but if that's if you're just just no way i will not have the rest of the system on the bike then you can do that and it's going to get the job done uh it's just going to uh make a mess you know so what i'm going to do is what fueling recommends which is the full breather so what we're going to do there is there's a quick release fitting that goes in place of that other one and then this line here has a nice quick release fitting just like you know you're like your air holes air hose has on your compressor you know and that is going to be a quick kind of disconnect to check your oil and then we're going to run this line down the frame and let this guy hang out at the back and do what it needs to do. They even include the zip ties and the, and the Loctite and whatnot. So I love it when they give you every darn thing you need to do this. So let's go over to the bike and we'll do this and I'll show quickly what this other sort of uh, kit, you know, that I mentioned earlier, how that works and then, then how this is quite a bit better. So let's go over to the bike real quick. All right. So I have opted for um, the breather hose option of course uh the other one again is just instead of this is a vented fitting in there and you're going to have mist you know out of the top of the the dipstick fueling says that in the instructions like that's not what they recommend but if you absolutely refuse to do the the line and the uh uh and the and the filter breather then then the option is there i think it's cool that they include that but i'm of course going to do the quick release thing because you know taking off a little quick line real quick to check your oil is not a big deal so i'm going to go ahead and run that i think it's the healthiest way for the bike so this, after you put the fitting in, all you do is put some Loctite on the set screw right there. So this all stays together nicely. Um, and that's about it. I mean, you're not gonna have to get into this thing very often, especially if you use the external breather line. So let's go ahead and pop this in and then we'll figure out, you know, the routing of the line and uh, get her done. All right. And you wanna need a chrome dipstick. I mean, it's, it's a CBO dipstick, so. You know, I put on eBay, what do we think? 400, 450? You know, I could add some bedazzled jewels. You know, your typical CBO kind of kind of stuff. <laughs> so there's the dipstick in the bike. I mean, you got the dipstick here, and then you got the dipstick there in the bike. Uh, here's, he's calling me stupid. They do make this in, in a chrome polish finish, but I wanted it as soon as possible and, and you know, black something they had, and that's fine. I mean, there's black in the paint and everything else. The frame is black, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, but they do make this in polish if that's just a deal breaker for you. I love that it's routed out and has the Fueling logo on it. I mean, I know I'm a bit goofy like that, but Fueling's a pretty badass brand and to have something with the logo on it on my bike, I don't know, I like that kind of stuff. I'm simple like that. Um, Let's route that line and get that done. There's some instructions on how to do it, but I, I, I think I think I see what we need to do. It's just zip ties, and they've included them. So, well, uh, I'll be back when I got all that done. I'll show you when it's all uh, buttoned up. All right, and we're done. So, you see, you got the line here. What I did, kind of followed their directions, is I ran it up the frame rail here. There it is, right there. Up along the top, around, back down along the back side of there down the lower frame rail, and you can barely see it, but the filter's down there where the engine and tranny meet. So, I mean, 
The reason why there's so much line is you don't want to just stick that can under the seat or just go straight down out of the bottom of the bike or something because you're not going to recapture oil as well. So uh, what I didn't mention earlier is when you do a breather up here, the oil is going to come out and it's going to go down and then if, if you did the T to the catch can thing, it'll fill that catch can slowly or it'll just kind of seep out of the filter if you do the two into one filter thing under here and you're, you're letting the oil sort of expel out of the motor because this is, this is where the pressure is coming from. When you go, no, I'm gonna go down to the lower, you know, part of the motor on the transmission or dipstick, um, your pressure's here coming out the same way as it out there, but if it goes up this line and builds enough pressure to get about out there, it's gonna run back into the motor. Uh, and even if it does get all the way up and over and down, you know, you've got, you know, sort of a filter down here. And if you wanted to change it to a catch can, you could. I'm just, I don't think there's a reason to. Uh, it can breathe better that way. So there you go, there's the fueling uh, vented dipstick. Uh, I think this kit's about 289. Again, you can get it black or polished. It's a nice piece, man. The, the, it's made so well. And the fact that the fittings and it, you know, it's quality item, seriously. So thanks an absolute ton to fueling. I, I really appreciate it. It means a ton to me because this, this CVO is, is one of my, you know, my pride and joy, but it's actually ridden and uh, I had a little blow by, I had a little smoke, like I mentioned earlier. So uh, I, I'm no doubt this is going to take care of that and, I, and I'll report back. But so like, comment, subscribe, ask any questions you want. Um, but yeah, you can go to fueling, uh, fueling parts. I'll put the address down here and find her an order for yourself. I recommend it. This is, this is, you know, one, definitely one of the ways I would go. I'd certainly better than this upper breather hose thing, uh, which can be kind of a mess. I ended up doing it to my old twin cam, but that's never ridden. This guy, I, I wanted something better. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with this. So thanks again. Fueling means a lot to me. And, uh, Look forward for more stuff. Make sure that you're a subscriber because we I do videos not daily anymore, it seems like, but at least every other day. Actually, still pretty much daily. Uh, send me an email at demonk at professional-monkey.com because I'm going to give that, that breather kit that I just said is not the way I would go. <laughs> but I've got the stuff, and I put it together myself. So um, I'm going to give it to someone who can maybe use it. Uh, so again, D-A-M-O-N-K at professional-monkey.com. Don't forget the dash, and I'll put that down here too. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care of each other out there. Bye.